And this is a little how-to tutorial on how to make your Google slide presentations so that your students can add in their notes without moving around <clears throat> the other uh, objects that are on your slide. So this is one that I have um, copied from a version that I've done for my honors class and now I'm going to modify it into uh, a guided note format for my inclusion classes. So what I'm going to do, this is something that I made um, first semester last year. And so I can take from it, um, I've already got the field in version. So I'm just going to use my little snipping tool here so I can take from it So I can <laughs> take from it the notes so that I can put them into a guided format. Okay, so I'm going to insert a little text box here. And I'm going to call this, uh, the title of this little text box, I'm going to call it uh, an introduction because this is going to go along with a Prezi that I have for this already. And now I want to make sure that I'm putting in everything that I need. I'm going to keep this right here beside of me or not. So a section of curve. So I'll just type in what I want. Asexual reproduction occurs in, and then I'm going to put in a little blank. That's going to be where they're going to type in their stuff later. Uh, parent, I forgot already, creates a genetically exact copy of itself. And then I'm not going to put that last part. So all that I'm going to have them put in in this one is just one. So if you've never done guided notes, you know that they're just adding in some important information. Now, that doesn't look good now, does it? So now what I want to do with this <clears throat> is I want the kids to come back in and when they're taking their notes, when they're following on the Prezi is to write in one in a text box. But you know what happens sometimes when you're dealing with things that have text boxes. I go to type in the text box and then I move everything else around by accident. Well, I don't want the kids to have to, uh, to bother with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to the slides. I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go down to Download. And I'm going to download it as a JPEG. And here it is. So here's my JPEG. I'm going to save that in my pictures. So characteristics, asexual reproduction mod notes. So I've saved it. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to come back over here to my presentation. Let me go ahead and make a copy of this real quick. I'm going to come back over to my presentation and I'm going to add in a slide. So here's my new slide. And now I'm going to go up to background. I'm going to choose an image. I'm going to go find that picture. Characteristic, asexual, mod. Open it up. And now, when I go in to add the text box, this is not going to move. So no matter uh, how reckless I am in clicking, I'm not going to move this. So I can now go get my text box. 
and I like to add color to things. And then this is now where the kids will come in and type in one. So now I don't have to worry about them um, touching everything else and, and messing everything else and then maybe possibly uh, messing themselves up just because of the way I've given them their notes in this presentation.